Disclaimer. The subject matter has been produced using AI technology and can in no way be employed as fact. The AI works on articles and blogs, so it may only be deemed as what others believe, not necessarily the editor of this video. This video is in no way intended as fact or intended to cause undue stress, only for entertainment value. The disclaimer is produced by Tony of Tony's Music. Thank you. China's dynasties have been the driving force behind its cultural and political development. The Chinese history of the last thousand years has been a history of dynasties, which have ruled China from time to time. Dynasties have been a powerful tool for social and economic development, but they also have brought about many problems as well. The first dynasty was founded in 206 BC, when Qin Shi Huangdi became the first emperor of China. Qin Shi Huangdi unified China into a single country and established the first centralized government in Chinese history. However, his efforts were not very successful because he did not manage to unite the people under his rule. His successors could not keep up with the increasing power of the local warlords and were unable to defeat them. The second dynasty was founded by Liu Bang, Emperor Gao, who overthrew the Qin dynasty. He was able to reunite China and create the Han dynasty. The Han dynasty lasted for almost 300 years and was one of the most important dynasties in Chinese history. It was during this period that the Chinese writing system was developed. The Chinese language was written using the characters that are still used today. The third dynasty was founded by Emperor Wu, who was the son of Liu Bei. His dynasty was short-lived because he died before it had a chance to mature. The fourth dynasty was founded by Emperor Ai, who was the grandson of Emperor Wu. He was a wise ruler, who managed to stabilize the situation in China. He built the first Great Wall of China, which protected the country from invaders from the north. The fifth dynasty was founded by Emperor Wudi, who was the son of Emperor Ai. This dynasty was the most successful one in Chinese history. It lasted for nearly 200 years and was characterized by peace and prosperity. During this time, the Chinese people were able to develop their culture, which resulted in the flourishing of literature, painting, sculpture, music, drama, and calligraphy. The sixth dynasty was founded by Emperor Sunza who was the son of the famous Emperor Wudi. His dynasty lasted for more than 300 years and was the longest dynasty in Chinese history. Under his rule, the Chinese language became the official language of China. The seventh dynasty was founded by Emperor Zongzo, who was the nephew of Emperor Sunzo. He was the first emperor of the Tang dynasty. The Tang Dynasty was a very important dynasty in Chinese history. It lasted from 618 to 908 AD. The dynasty was characterized by great achievements in science and technology, and it was the first dynasty to introduce paper money. The Eighth Dynasty was founded by Emperor Yi, who was the son of Empress Wu Zetian. His dynasty lasted for only 22 years, because he was murdered by his son. The Ninth Dynasty was founded by Emperor Zhuangzi, who was the eldest son of Emperor Yi. This dynasty was the shortest dynasty in Chinese history. It ended with the death of Emperor Zhuangzi, and it was followed by the Tenth Dynasty, which was founded by Emperor Ya. The Eleventh Dynasty was founded by Emperor Shenzhou, who was the grandson of the famous Emperor Zhuangzi. The Twelfth Dynasty was founded by Emperor Lizhou, who was the son and successor of Emperor Shenzhou. This dynasty lasted for nearly 300 years.
It was during this dynasty that the Chinese writing system was modified and improved. The end.